Good Friday morning. I'm Dwayne Nelson. The Kingsport Chamber of Commerce will be hosting Governor Bill Haslam this morning. The governor will unveil his 2012 legislative agenda to the public. Haslam will appear at the Kingsport Center for Higher Education on West Market Street in downtown Kingsport at 10 o'clock. The Kingsport City School System has a new superintendent. The Board of Education has chosen Lyle Alshi. He's the current director of the Greenville School System and has led that program for more than 10 years. Alshi, or Elshi, will replace Dr. Richard Kitzmiller, who retired December 30th. Dwayne Arnold will remain interim superintendent until Elshi's tenure began sometime in March. It's day two of testimony in Sullivan County Criminal Court in the capital murder trial of a man accused of killing two people. Leslie Ware Jr. is charged with two counts of premeditated first-degree murder and felony murder in the deaths of Jeffrey Nolan and Terrence Alexander inside a Kingsport business. Prosecutors told George yesterday Ware robbed and killed Nolan, who was a big-time cocaine dealer, and that the candle shop was a front for drug trafficking. One witness is expected to testify that he saw Ware pull the trigger. Neither Jeffrey Nolan nor Terrence Alexander resisted in the least bit. They laid there, and Clyde Green saw the defendant shoot the first time into the back of Jeffrey Nolan's head. If convicted, Ware faces the death penalty. Some new jobs are coming to Hawkins County. Representatives with Ware Manufacturing Incorporated announced the company's decision to expand its Sergoinsville facility. That move represents an investment of nearly $1.4 million in the creation of 33 manufacturing jobs. Ware is a manufacturer and distributor of pet products. A proposal to rezone property in Piney Flats to allow for a methadone clinic to build has been withdrawn. Gray Shipley withdrew the application that had been filed to rezone property along Industrial Park Road. No reason was given for that decision. Officials say a Virginia coal miner has died as the result of injuries he received while working at Consul's Buchanan No. 1 mine. Virginia Department of Mines, Minerals and Energy spokesman Mike Abbott said 44-year-old Joe Saunders of Princeton died at Bristol Regional Medical Center. Saunders and, other coal miner, uh, and another coal miner rather, were injured on January 11th when a high-pressure water line valve that they were working on exploded. More plans to attend a travel, make plans to attend a travel show set in Kingsport this weekend with proceeds to benefit Second Harvest Food Bank of Northeast Tennessee. The annual AAA East Tennessee Travel Show will feature cruise lines and tour companies handing out information on travel options. Kathy Smith is with Second Harvest, says there's a constant need for food in the region. We are at an all-time high as far as the demand for food in northeast Tennessee, and especially these winter months, people are faced with a lot of decisions sometimes with their bill paying, so more and more people do tend to rely on food pantries at this time of year. Door prizes will be given away. The event is set for Saturday from noon until 4 o'clock at Meadowview Convention Center. Admission is $5 for AAA members, $6 for non-members, plus a donation of three cans or more of food at the door. I'm Dwayne Nelson. Have yourself a great Friday.